easy peasy, just swing along easy peasy, like a pendulum easy peasy, and take life as it comes. Easy peasy, just bounce around easy peasy, don't get too down easy peasy, and have yourself some fun. All right. Uh, so all kidding aside, I played like shit the first hour or so. Uh, I'm gonna try to play for real now. Uh, we're gonna stick to the, actually we're gonna go 5X. Rage, 50. Rage, 50. Ooh, we got a 5X. Berkey with the 5X on the cutoff. Ooh, Berkey, I'm gonna fuck you. I go big. Um, in the spirit of playing well. Hold on. Okay. Uh, I'm obviously just gonna fold. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think like if this is an overcorrection even for my sizing. So if I had opened three X, it would be going like ten to twelve. Uh, so I had an extra two big blinds, and he went thirty-one. Um. Yep, seems much. Fuck, I didn't know you were gonna play well. Huh? You made it 300. I know, I would never want to. You made big. it 50. Yeah, but he made it 300. You made it 50. If I made, I made it 25, 200. 150 would be equally as ridiculous. I need red. I had aces. <laughs> what is this here? Good hand, good hand. Matt's gonna three bet, and I need to hope for a good hand, bad hand. Hold twenty, raise twenty. Here, I'll pay. It. <laughs> what are you listening to? Taylor Swift. What song? I'm gonna look at my first card, and if it's above a five, I'm gonna raise in the dark between you. Oh. Who the fuck is he talking to? No, no, he's gotta be fucking. Talking to the camera. He's doing what you do talking? on the podcast. <laughs> he's, Mr. Clean's lost his mind. My favorite part about Andre is the way that he slams chips into the table. It's really nice. So I have to fold and I get to keep watching. Checking range. Oh. Don't fall. Thank you very much. Uh, we're just gonna see that. Uh, rainbow board, queen high. Does it continue with like three flushes? Probably. Uh, he has more three flushes, so. Obviously he can have hands beat us, which is a sure continue here. Definitely can lead here. I'm gonna go about half pot. All right, what are you doing here, Brian? Looking weird ass line. Um, I would have bet this line, to be very clear. Uh, you know, if I was ahead pre-flop, I'm definitely ahead here. Um, he's saying he has a queen here. I need him to prove it to me. So, prove it to me, Brian. I think he's going to pretty much check most of his range unless he has like a queen. Don't think we can get him to bluff, but we could get him to call with more pairs, possibly nine. 200. Bluffs that missed are like, you know, obviously jack 10. I unblock that. And I lose to sixes now, but I doubt he's doing this with sixes. I don't think a lot of sixes are in his range. He is a goddamn turtle, but I don't know. 200 feels so weird, so we just call. Him. 
Mm. 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 Tortoise, tortoise value. Tortoise value. Oh, you El Tortoise. We're back in the game, boys and girls. I do that food. Tortoise doesn't like to do that. Unless he has the nuts. <laughs> Raise 135. Hold, hold, hold. I mean, it's against Connie, and we just have pseudo connector. This is, this is like aces against him. He's so goddamn bad. Bet a 225, so it's a pretty big bet, but you know, I can't go anywhere. This is definitely a raising candidate as well. Problem is, what do I raise here with? So I'm just relying on straight up equity. I guess I didn't think this through on how I should proceed here. It's not unreasonable now that I'm back thinking to have a leading range. And now, you know, I'm just in a stupid position now where I, what I just call and hope for the best. That being said, he is deep enough-ish where I can still call. 225 call. Okay, um, I think you just plain flip. All right, so we have like 720 in the pot. We are trying to get money in here as fast as possible. But I don't think there's anything we can do until we're over. And we have the Ace of Diamonds in our hands, so this feels good. I'm gonna go with this size, like 575. Is that 575? Okay, I just glanced, but it looks like he has something like a thousand behind. Um, the reason why I say that is because obviously this is a perfectly fine jam card. But does he fold that often? Like, should we just go to a river? I have a ton of equity, right? two overs. Two diamonds. The eight wins me outright. I mean, I just have all the fucking outs. So how do I miss? I feel like the proper play is just to jam here because now I do have deuces and sevens and nines in my range. And I'm trying to get those hands out. Okay, let's just do it. Pretty sure there's a good chance the check raise was coming intoxicating my face. And it's gonna be so sick when he just flips over seven deuce. But I'm not folding. He's all, he's all, he's all in, Nines? Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why do you why do you run like this in a fucking game with your friends? Go like win a turn. It's actually not that bad. Be like Connie. It's like Connie face equity. It's hard mm -hmm. to fold to. <laughs> Berkey did it. I was never thought in a million years to my fucking 33 big blinds he was actually gonna muck and I felt like there was gonna be a rip more into the mucks. How do you get ace? I don't know, I got ace twice. How, how is that possible? I don't know, it's pretty sick. He gets them so often that he just makes it 350 free whenever <laughs> when he's afraid. I had I had you like dead on the turn. Go ahead. I had this time in my hand, I felt good. Bold. That's a bingo. Uh, we have a very clear check raising candidate, so we're gonna start with that. Yeah. Barky's still so fucking butthurt. Uh, it's annoying, so uh, I feel like he in these spots are a little bit sticky. I think we just check, figure it out in turn. Check. 
Okay, uh, Andre's pretty capped here. I don't expect him to be checking back very much Queen X. We blocked Jackson Tens, which is nice because those would be his best bluff catchers, or they would at least feel like his best bluff catchers to him. In one regard, we kind of get to polarize because he doesn't really have good hands. But on the other hand, the strategy is to just like be betting 80% here. Uh, so I'm just gonna lean into that. I already think he'll perceive me as over bluffing. Uh, so with 150 in the pot, let's go 130. Bet 130. Okay. Um, this hand's interesting. Obviously I have dust, but I still might have the best hand. Um, it's just such a, a freaking wet board. That three doesn't really complete too much other than obviously the flush draw. I hold the 10 of hearts, which is important. It does block obviously heart and, uh, and Jack 10. I don't know what fucking Berkey has. He said he's playing well, but now after he got stacked and just donated to everybody. I don't know if that's true. He looks like he's playing terrible. So we're gonna call one. Um, and see what he does with the aggression. Because it could just blank off. Right, this is a pretty interesting card. He shouldn't have any King-10 or 10-8 in range. Um, should not have any Queen-Jack. He will have Jack-9. Uh, but we block Jack-9 of clubs. The board blocks spades and diamonds. So that only leaves Jack-9 of hearts. I think that we have to go for value on this particular card. Again, we're uncapped and he's not. Uh, we have a couple of viable options here. We could block bet and then three bet jam over a raise, uh, which is reasonable because he will have some ace jack or king jack which beat us and may feel inclined to get greedy. Uh, we also just target pocket tens, nine X, sevens, eights, hands like that when we choose to block. I don't really see any reason to go big here. Our, our hand just really functions this way as a block. So with uh, 420 in the pot, so if we go 75 and he makes it like 300 and then we jam for like 1500 more, it's like pot. If we bet 30 and he makes it like 180, yeah, I, I kind of like that better. Okay. I think 25% is the proper sizing, but I'm gonna bet 10% pot here. All right, Dusty, obviously. I bet, uh, I, I beat very few bluffs now. Uh, literally just seven, eight, 10, seven. I block a 10. Uh, but it's so small, I'm willing to like pay this off almost. You know, they always say when you're getting like infinite to one, you're not actually winning even that much. All right, let's just see. Calls? Tin one and Andre to rip so fucking bad. I would have snapped. Ten I was playing with three bet shoving. That's why I bet so small. Oh, you're in a three bet. Yeah. Come on, guys. I'm not a fucking rookie at this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Congratulations, Matt. Nice Eat a hand. Dick. <laughs> Played so well. Eat it only took dick. you 20 minutes. It didn't take me any time at all. Does this fucking whale over here call it ace high? Didn't take <laughs> oh, it took you some time at all. Real in-depth analysis down there, man. Real, real uh, novella going on. Yep. Wow. These guys take an eternity when they have kings. Because he's wasting our time. <laughs> no, we're actually getting into hands. Unlike you, Landon. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. I got just 3x potted on and I raised him. <laughs> <laughs> the chart the doesn't end up playing. I got 3x potted on and I raised him. Usually we reserve the suited one gappers for heads up only. <laughs> Break out the tight fits or. I don't like this guy. He's being mean. <laughs> I don't. I don't like you. Berkey calls 40. Oh. Oh man, here we go. It's just like being back in Berkey's uh, grandma's attic again. Old school. Okay. <laughs> Definitely gonna continue. We're going to bet 30. 30. 
30. Now you gotta be careful with these old wily men. Uh, this is this is kind of a range check spot for Brian on a texture like this. Uh, maybe not. Uh, we have a very clear float. It's just a matter of do we want to raise or do we want to call. I think the majority of our range would just be playing call here, maybe like 10% raise frequency. So here we call go. 30. Not a good fuck card for me. Deuces to sevens. All right, I don't know what is going on here. Brian definitely doesn't really play bet bet here in theory. Um, he's heavily weighting himself towards value, but I can see a world where he potentially just overplays his flush draws and possibly some of his overpairs. Um, the sizing is like what's really most concerning to me here about 125 in the pot, 135 in the pot, him leading for 80% here. Uh, I would expect to see a lot more block sizings taking place. Uh, so he's polarizing, he's saying he has a seven and we're saying we don't believe. We're gonna continue. Four five gets there, eight nine, 10 eight. He knows that, he knows that should be a check. Okay, yeah, uh, he's gonna show up here with a lot of over pairs. Uh, I think he probably would have made a mistake and bluffed too many heart combos on the river. Um, this card for sure through the bet bet line is almost certainly a pure check uh, with the exception of like two combos of eight seven and pocket eights and then his bluffs I guess being like ace nine of hearts, ace 10 of hearts. Uh, our hand shows down, doesn't win very often but no reason to turn into a bluff. Ace duck. What are you doing? What are you doing? I just snapped anything. <laughs> Yo. Yo, that was such an old man coffee. Yeah. I don't know what to do, so I'm gonna bet. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, Yo, so the chat is like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> Me? The Chaz just, the Chaz's like, what are you doing? Like, why are you betting? What's going on? On the turn? Yeah. Everywhere. Flop and turn. <laughs> I can bet the turn. No, no you can't bet the fucking block. turn. Are you nuts? I was like, on the, the Chaz, I'm like, mid-race burgers. <laughs> <laughs> he bet so big, he bet like 80%. Are you nuts? <laughs> you can make a little splash. You can make a little.